Task Factory is a suite of SSIS components available from Pragmatic Works. In this video, we'll look at the Upshirt destination. Adding records to or updating existing records in a table is a task performed by the vast majority of SSIS packages. Now, in the past, you had to follow a design pattern, something like what you see here. We have our source in which we read the records. We then have to do a lookup into our target table to see if the record already exists. If it does not exist, we can flow down here to the no match and insert the records directly into the table. If on the other hand the record does exist, we generally wind up inserting that record into a staging table. Then once we return to our control flow, we have to call an execute SQL task to update that record from the staging table. Now wouldn't it be nice if there was an easy way to do all of that in one simple task? Well, there is, and it's called the upsert destination. To demonstrate this, I've created two tables. One is my source, and one's going to be my upsert destination. As you can see here, the upper area is the source. I have 10,000 rows. It has a column called big number, which is simply an incrementing value. In this case, it goes all the way up to 10,000. And then for the number format, I simply have row and then some padded zeros and then a big number. And this is just to have some text in here. Now on the target, my numbers only go as high as 5,000. And then the text actually reads update me, followed by row and then the number. So let's go see how to update this using the upsert. Here I have my LADB source. When I open it up, you can see it's set to Pragmatic Works as my database. And there's the upsert source that you just saw, and the big number and big number format. So let's come over here, and we're going to drop an upsert destination right here onto our screen. I'm going to connect to it, and we'll go ahead and make it the same size. Okay, and now we're going to open it up. Okay, now that it's open, I'm going to come here. I'm going to create a connection manager. And we'll just use the pragmatic works one we have. Now for the table name, my target table is going to be upsert destination. And you can see I have my two columns. Now I have to enable at least one of these columns to be my key and I'm going to implement big number as the key. Now, if this was an identity column, I would come up here and I would check on Enable Identity Insert. This means my upsert destination would leave it up to SQL Server to increment this identity rather than trying to handle it itself. Over here in my Update Method tab, I have several options. I can choose Bulk Update which is the fastest and it's based upon the key we indicate. It simply compares one key to another and then checks its values out to see if they match. Another way to do it is with the column compare. With the column compare it simply compares one column to another. There's also a timestamp compare and a last update compare which you can use to see if it needs to update the row. We'll leave the bulk update for our selection here. I can also choose to have a last modified column. If I have a last modified column into my target, I could select the drop down and pick it. The upsert destination will automatically take care of updating that last modified date for me. Finally, on the advanced tab, I can set the command timeout. I can also do things like include a row count variable and an update row count variable. Now, update row count is not available on a bulk update, but it is on the other methods. So here, you can see I've got everything set up. So I'm just going to come here and click on OK. And that's it. I'm done. Now I can simply come up here and execute my package. And there we go, 10,000 rows. Go ahead and stop this, and then we'll come back and rerun our select statements.
Now if we come down here, we can see our destination table, and we can see all those update me's are gone, and it has now been updated to match the source. You can also come down here, and now you can see I'm all the way up to 10,000, so those additional rows have now been inserted into the table. So hopefully you can see using the upsert eliminates a lot of headaches. It also makes it very simple to go ahead and just drop an upsert in here, and you've saved yourself quite a bit of effort and work. To learn more about the upsert and other components available within Task Factory, visit us at pragmaticworks.com.